नमस्कार सस्रियाकाल आदाब I'm your host for today my name is Kabir Aditya and welcome back to my channel For those of you who don't know this channel is all about movies storytelling and sports So today's topic is going to be about movies Diwali is coming up one of the most fun festivals of India that we all hope to enjoy with our family and friends we burst the firecrackers we enjoy sweets we enjoy going to each other's homes distributing sweets and uh, hoping we don't get sown papri again but and enjoying the firecrackers at night with all of the crew your cousins brothers friends family everyone some people even dance during those uh, times they bring up the dolls i know during the diwali thing um after bursty crackers all the puja and everything they bring the dhol and within the street all the whole of neighborhood is dancing at least that happens with the punjabi people i don't know about the others so you're all having fun right on the diwali day but your holiday is also the next day after diwali what are you going to do usually the conversation that takes place among people is uh, bro tomorrow is a holiday let's go watch a movie the other guy will say what movie is actually up there is it even worth going is it is it even worth putting in the effort this is usually the conversation like yaar kaun si movie lagi hai yaar ye bhai ye lagi aur ye lagi hai dekhte hain let's go and that's usually what happens but this diwali what movie are you going to watch singham again or bulbuleya 3 and that's what we're going to discuss today which one is going to be more worth it so let's begin Before I give an opinion on what I think is how the movies are going to be and how they're going to perform in the box office, we'll go over the movies a little bit. This is the first time I've seen that movies whose third part, the third sequel, two of them are being released at the same time. I have never seen an occasion where a movie's third part and another movie's third part together are being released. Now let's go discuss both these movies. They are a franchise. Bhubaleya 3 has been completely changed since his first movie. The first movie's director was different, act the main actor was different. It was based off of a remake of Rajnikanth's Chandramukhi. Then you had Bhubaleya 2, it was like a new franchise completely. It barely had any uh connection to the previous part. Barely, very little for the name's sake. But Singham actually had connections. Even though the stories were different, the characters were mostly the same except the main actress. So what do I think about this movie? Let's begin. Look, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. None of these trailers excited me. It looks like the same old wine in a new bottle, not even a new bottle to be honest. It looks like the deleted scenes of their previous movies of Singham 1 and 2 for Singham again and Bubalaya 2 in Bubalaya 3. There's nothing part of Bubalaya 1 except few songs and Manjulika, that's it. So when I see these trailers, I find it's 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 nothing exciting at least to me. I don't know about what the audience in India is thinking. It's meant to be a third part. They're trying to make it so grand and especially Singham, but it doesn't seem grand enough. The more they try to make it grand, the cheaper the both the films look in my opinion. They have lost the charm. They have lost the charm. They have lost the charm. It has become a franchise in the first place. So now let's begin with Singham again, which is the third part of Singham. And as I said, the first two were remakes of the Tamil movie with Surya. It was the original movie. I think that was also called Singham. That was those two Singham 1 and 2 in the Tamil part movie were a big hit, which is why these remade remakes were made and they were also a big hit. But will the Singham again, which is not going to be a remake of any movie, is the first time Rohit Shetty is probably making an original part of Singham for, by his own story. And we all know what Rohit Shetty has done when he makes tries to make original movies. <coughs> circus This movie as well as well looks like a circus to me. Literally all half of the Bollywood is jumping around and very cartoonish characters and nothing um uh, that gives you goosebumps or exciting or some quality. It's just they're literally jumping around and have few terrible dialogues. So because Rohit only knows how to copy and paste properly, he doesn't know how to make original movies. When he makes original movies, he assume he makes movies like Circus. And apparently Circus was also supposed to be like a remake of sorts of Angur. What a terrible terrible way to inspire yourself like completely ruin the previous legacy. The one part that people don't notice about Singham again is Singham 1 and 2 were based on the topics of corruption, corruption in a village or corruption in a state or in a country blah blah blah. 
those were the topics that connect with literally any part of India. You don't have to be from North, South, East, West, from Central India. You don't have to be a part of a certain religion to enjoy it, certain political ideology, nothing. Corruption unifies the whole country. Like fight against corruption, that topic. But this movie all of a sudden talks about Ramayana. It's not bad to have a glimpse of Ramayana like RRR did it beautifully. But to make it a complete like almost a your version remake of it i don't think the indian audience is interested in watching that ramayan was or, the original tv show with raman and sagas was the smash hit and that's the og uh the best ramayan they want to ha- have to watch or the animated movie the japanese animated movie even adi purush couldn't uh bring the audience to the theaters or make it a an event for people after adi purush's disappointment people are not expecting anything good coming off of ramayan on screen so that's why i don't think the ranbir kapoor's ramayan also people would be interested in watching that's just my opinion but again talking about singham when you bring in the topic of ramayan of a particular religion you automatically uh take uh making the other audience less interested in watching the movie any other religion except hindus who probably won't connect to it i'm not saying that it's wrong they just don't know about ramayana they probably don't know the story for example if a movie is made on any other religion maybe hindus won't be able to connect to it i'm just saying this as a opinion that h- half of india's audience would probably be not be in the theaters because of this idea you're already losing a chunk of audience while singham was uh, supposed to be a unifying idea for the indians to watch and fight against corruption this and especially that a poor man's version of ramayana that's how it looks like seeing like caricaturist characters nah not my cup of tea i haven't seen the original ramayana but it seems to be ruining the legacy of the story of ramayana itself and you know you're in trouble when arjun kapoor seems like the best actor in the trailer anyways bulbuliyatri that is something that could be a unifying for any kind of audience because it's not about a religion or anything it's supposed to be a horror comedy Now let's let me tell you one thing this horror comedy genre people think is going to stay for a long time it's not it's been in the short run that it came then lots of movies are going to come into it people are going to get fed up of it and then it's going to crash down horror comedy is is a seasonal thing after you could say after covid right after covid there weren't many big movies coming out people wanted to just entertain themselves after going through such a tough time in that pandemic so when bulbuli 2 came it was a franchise movie kartik aryan has his own fans and uh, it wasn't as bad of a movie as people expected so people enjoyed it and the horror comedy genre was new back then stree had started it but stree 2 took a while to be made stree 2 was probably the peak that it uh, that happened with horror comedy but these days horror comedy is even bulbuli 2 and 3 that seem like neither it's horror right scares you neither it's comedy that makes you laugh it's it's mundane in my opinion i never laughed at the trailer i never even got, got even one second scared in any part of the movie manjulika was meant to freak you out as it did in the first part in this one none it's it's cartoonish it's like i'm watching a disney cartoon a live live action movie of a disney cartoon a movie or something like that and even after the sequel is supposed to be different like you've changed the main actress you've changed the director you've changed the main actor what have you just have to change the title but you've kept the title so you attract the audience who are fans of the first part of the movie and that is how the second movie like they actually became slightly hit because of that for me what is the purpose of this bulbuli theory the story is not continued it doesn't seem continued to me there seems to be a whole new angle and uh, you only just kept the title the same like what is the purpose either sequels are planned or you expand the same story this is not a sequel you just have to change the title you could make it i don't know instead of bulbuli or some other kind of thing it would be the same it wouldn't make a difference and honestly with that balance screaming continuously is such a headache i'm not going to even lie i used to be a huge fan of her and in the first part her acting was amazing amazing but right now that screaming was just too annoying and seeing madhuri dikshit only like that is the only saving grace them and vidyabalan doing the amije tomar that's it the rest of the movie just looks like deleted scenes of bulbuli 2 with new movie with tripti dimri doing other scenes that's it like you even managed to change the ghost of the movie like i mean come on and in my opinion if uh, this movie doesn't work who knows kartik aryan could also be changed I mean if you could replace Akshay Kumar and Priyadarshan who's to say Anis Bazmi and Kartik Aryan could be changed by the producer next time uh 
I don't know, they would probably hire this Amar Kaushik who makes 3 2 and uh, Kashrata Kapoor or Rajkumar Rao is the main guy, and there you go. Beca it becomes another horror universe, whatever that's happening. I mean, there's no reason. They don't think through the universe, they just connect it somehow. Now that we have talked about both the trailers that are what I think and what the movie will be, let me tell you one thing. It's the day after the Diwali that it's being released. It's gonna have both of the movies are gonna have amazing opening. Everybody wants to give it a shot. There are some old fans of the franchises like Singham and Bulbalaya. Some people don't even watch the trailer, so they just see, "Arey, it's a sequel of this movie. I love the first two parts. Let's go." Or I love the first part. Let's go. Something like that. Or I'm a fan of this actor. Let's go. Both the movies will have equally good opening, but after they watch it and when they say like it's not that good it's gonna dip people are end up going to different places and hill stations or visit other family or, or just do anything but go watch this movie in my opinion the business will dip especially bulbaya 3 has a competition now rather when bulbaya 2 came out there was no competition barely any good movies coming out people were wanting to just watch some form of mild light-hearted entertainment which is why they forgave any mistakes that were there in bulbaya 2. this time audience will be more ruthless because the audience is fed up of terrible movies that's that's my opinion and especially ruining the franchise of the first part of Bulbalaya and like I said the horror comedy genre Munjia, 3 2 what else you had uh, and now Bulbalaya 3 people are going to be fed up 3 2 success it's going to be difficult to match that level of movie 3 2 I personally didn't like it as much as I liked the first part but that doesn't mean it was a bad movie it was just one time watch but compared to that level to Bulbalaya, Bulbalaya 3 looks like a cartoon to me. It's it's the comedy is stale, you don't laugh, the horror part is just irritating. It's not even scary, it's irritating. So, and because Roy Shetty has run out of movies, what to copy paste, he's trying to make a new Ramayana formula. I mean, he, he really had to get inspired of another story to make his own movie. He can never come up with a story on his own. And if I'm honest, both these movies are not going to work. Uh, they're going to have good opening, followed by terrible mouth, like word of mouth, and the figures will dip. And this is the beginning of the end of the horror comedy genre and the beginning of the end of the Roy Shetty copy universe. I don't think uh, these movies are going to be that profitable. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you end up, if you've already watched the video until now, please do press the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, and click on the personalize. So whenever I upload a new video, you get instantly notified. So until the next episode, till then, take care, have fun, enjoy your Diwali, have some sweets from my side as well, and make sure that you tell everyone to watch my channel and subscribe to my channel. Thank you once again.